Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate your own pictures using Adobe After Effects. This has been requested quite a few times since I started doing this in my own edits. Um, this is not a professional technique or anything, this is just how I figured out how to do it. So I'll be showing you how to make a still image blink and how to make a PNG move. Let's get started. So here I have my composition. Um, I just took a random scene from one of my edits. And as you can see, um, Ariana is blinking and moving. Um, this is a picture, so she was not doing this originally, so I'll show you how to do that. So I have a PNG picture over here. It has a few effects on it just because I wanted it to match more with the background. Um, that's not necessary at all, so all you need is a PNG picture. So what we're going to start by doing is pre-composing that picture into its own composition. So I'm going to name this um, blinking and I'm going to click on move all attributes into the new composition as it will be the perfect length. So now you're going to click into your composition and it should look something like this. So you have your picture with empty background. Of course, like I said, mine has effects on it, but we can ignore that. Um, so, okay, this is how I do it. So you're gonna duplicate your picture so that you have two layers. Um, we're gonna hide the layer underneath and we're gonna zoom in right onto her face. So we're gonna use the pen tool that is located at the top over here. And what I do is I underline her eye to do a mask of the eye bag area of her face so that when we move and we use the liquify tool on the layer underneath that part will stay still on her face if you can't really see where the other eye is and your layer disappeared like you did for me um just go and put the layer underneath on show again by clicking the little eye icon and just trace the mask on the top layer and i like to put a bit of feather on this so that it looks quite blended in with the skin um just two would be fine like that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our effects and you're gonna search for liquify this is what we're gonna use to make the eyes blink so you're gonna add that on the bottom layer and basically what this is is a tool where you can smudge things around as you can see um, it looks a bit odd but it'll work in the end so what I like doing is starting at a random frame in the middle and what we're gonna do is use the one over here which is a little finger and you're gonna go in warp tool option and you're gonna make sure that your brush is not too big because this is obviously too big it would smudge her whole face and <laughs> we don't want that so I'm gonna put the brush size at maybe 10 okay maybe 5 so you want it to be it'll be different for everyone because it depends on your composition but you want it to be kind of the size of the eye but not too much so that it doesn't take her eyebrow or something like that so now we're gonna go into the distortion percentage and we're gonna add a keyframe and we're gonna take the brush over here and we're just gonna smudge down her eyelid now this is gonna look super weird when you're doing it um, but when it's all done it looks good I swear so you just want to like move it around so that it looks kind of natural so like don't do it kind of like in a weird way you know you want to make sure that it looks like what an eyelid would look like when it's closed and that's why we did the two mask at the start because as you're smudging it without the mask here you see it would kind of make the eyes look odd so that's why we have that there and so now we're just going to click over here on the left to add or remove a keyframe because we're going to add that keyframe with her eyes closed right here okay so basically you want to make sure that your keyframe has zero percent 100% and then 0% again and that's going to give you a little blinking effect. So right now it looks kind of weird So we're gonna Okay, it looks weird because the thing wasn't on top So then you're gonna click on um, 
keyframe assistant and easy ease and basically this is going to make the eyes close down a bit smoother i guess and then i also like to make sure my motion blur is on for this um as i will make it a bit better as well um you can also go into the graph editor and i like to make the graph look a little bit like this just so it goes like really fast and then back up again but that's not really necessary that's just what i like to do and then i basically just play it and see if it looks okay sometimes i'll make this part a bit shorter um you can also put both a bit shorter it just depends on the look that you want really but you want to think about how when you blink it's really quite fast so if you made it super long it would look a little bit weird so basically you want it something like this so zero to hundred to zero and you can move them a bit and make sure that it looks good so then i like to copy those keyframes and then paste them again a few times um, because if you were blinking you know you blink more than once so something like that um sometimes i like to put them after the other so it looks like she blinks twice so basically this is how i make pictures blink so now comes the part where we're gonna animate so to animate um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna quickly turn my effects on again okay so now that we have our blinking picture what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the top and bottom layer and we're gonna pre-comp them again so that they stay together when we make the body move so i'm gonna title this one um movement and make sure it's move all attributes into the new composition so that all our blinking layers are in there so as you can see the picture is blinking and we now have a new clean composition to work with so to make my pictures move i like to use the puppet tool and the one i prefer is the one that has that little the puppet advanced pin tool is the one i like to use as it does rotation and position so to change those it's command p on a mac and i'm not sure what it would be on a pc but if you hover over it it'll tell you what keys to press to get those settings so the way you're gonna do a body animation you're basically gonna think about how the human body works and when we put pins on the body it's basically gonna be a locked area so to make sense of that basically you're going to want to go where the body would be locked so um elbows and then the neck um and you also want to pin it if you have like a bottom of a picture like that and you don't want that to move i like to pin it a few times at the bottom so basically all of the places you pinned they won't move and then i'm also going to pin well as you can see for this picture um her elbows are onto her body, so I don't really need to pin them. But if her arm was going over here, you'd want to pin the elbow if you want to make that arm move, if that makes sense. But for this one, I'm just going to do the neck, and I'm actually going to do the bottom of um, the spine, I guess. If that makes sense, where your back would be. Um, and then if you go down here, if you don't see this, you can open it up. In the effects and click puppet tool you can also click the um, letter u on your keyboard and i'll open up all of the keyframes so basically those points we put the puppets pins that we put all line up here on a keyframe so we're going to go to the end of the clip when we animate the pins they're going to move from the start here to the end so i'm going to try some different things here and see what looks good Okay, so I just realized I don't- the neck one is good if you want to move just her head. I basically decided for this one, I do not want to change the neck, so I removed that one. I think I'll just move the bottom of her body. Like this. Um, 
it makes it just makes more sense so the neck one would be more useful if you want to move her head okay so as you can see her body is now moving um i can see that it lifts up here a little bit at the bottom so i'm just gonna go and move this pin here so i hold it down okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna select all of these keyframes and we're gonna do um easy ease on them just so that the motion is more natural i guess you don't need to select the ones at the bottom because those were not animated only these two were so i'm gonna go to keyframe assistance easy ease so as you can see the body is moving but there is one problem now and that is that there is this line around here um and that's an easy fix so what you need to do is you need to go over here at the bottom in your puppet effect and when you go underneath mesh one you're gonna see something called expansion so you're just gonna move that a bit so that it expands further and then you won't have that line anymore so now we have the body moving and the eyes blinking Obviously, you can make it move differently depending on what you want for your animation. Sometimes I like to do just the neck and then I just have the head leaning a little bit one way or another. Um, if you have a PNG that is like someone sitting down and they have their legs laying down, you can make the leg move a little bit like at the bottom of the edge of something. So it just depends what picture you have, but that's basically how you do that. And so now if we go back to our main composition, our picture is animated and she's blinking um it's definitely something to practice with and try to make sure it doesn't move too fast or like at an unnatural angle that the body couldn't move in so make sure to only add pins where it's necessary and not adding too much as it'll kind of lock your image and it won't make it as fluid i hope this was helpful somehow um, like I said, this is not like a professional way to do this. I just figured this out on my own when I was like, how can I make a picture blank? And I came up with this technique. So I hope this is helpful to any of you who are wondering how I do this effect. If you have any requests of tutorials you'd like for me to do in the future, um, you can comment it down below and I will make sure to read all your comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.